Hey guys, uh, this is my Easy Go Trail Hog here, which is kind of a kind of a, a ruggedized Easy Go golf cart with off-road tires and stuff, little little higher off the ground, and uh, really like it, especially for hunting out of it because it is silent. But the problem is right now it won't go, and so I think I know what the problem is, and hopefully this video will show you how to fix it. So let me show you what the problem is, and then uh, we'll we'll go to fixing what I believe is causing the issue. Okay, so if I turn the key on, I don't know if you can see it right here. It's got full battery power. You put it on. Whoa. Okay, so you see it works. Um, I put it in reverse. It works. And the problem is, is it only works at full throttle. It has no variable speed. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, Okay, so what I believe the problem is, is this little inductive throttle sensor. Now, it's underneath the floorboard here, and I'll show you how to get to it. We're going to replace it. Um, but, um, you know, I've looked, taken the one that's in there out, and it doesn't look like it has any moisture or any cracks in it. But uh, sometimes it can develop a hairline crack, because this all started after some bad rainstorms last year, and it's just gotten worse and worse, and it's been unpredictable. So this is what I think the problem is. I'm going to show you how to replace it. And then we'll give it a test to see if it actually fixes the problem. Okay, first let me show you how to get to where your inductive throttle sensor is. And it's underneath the floor mat right here. And uh, yours might have a couple of bolts right here. Mine fell out a long time ago. This is a kind of old one. It was given to me. So we're just going to take this mat, and I'm just going to stick it underneath the dash here. Fold it back. And then we see this little do uh, access port right here. Um, and then there's a little cover on it. Might have a couple of screws in it. Mine don't. Um, like I said, this was given to me a lot of screws missing on it. Then we see this little waterproof housing. We'll take this thing out, and that's where our inductive throttle sensor will be. Okay, so I'm just going to take out this these screws here. Got to lift this lid up. It's kind of on here tight. I might use a screwdriver. I'm just using my pocket knife here to kind of work this lid up cover here, try to get it off, there we go, and there we see that inductive, okay, so we see we have two nuts to take out here, um, I'm looking at these nuts, and uh, looks like maybe they're 3 8 or 10 millimeter, let's try uh, 10 millimeter to start off, with. yeah, that's a 10 millimeter nut, off set those to the side now we can lift this thing up so we've got the black wire to this side and the, the red wire or I guess a, kind of a white wire to this side so let's let's go ahead and take these off here try not to pull this out all right put these on That doesn't seem to be contacting real good, so I'm gonna kind of press this down. You know, these old crimp connect these these little connectors like this. I wish they would make a better system, but it's what it's made for. So I just tightened it up just a little bit. There we go. Now it should go right down on there. It's got these little pegs down in here that it slides over. Slide it over the bolts here. Okay, so that went on. It's got these crummy little nuts. Try to get them down in there just right. 
flatten that down. stable there okay all right so we've replaced that let's put everything back together here want to be careful when using a power driver so you don't over tighten back on put our cover plate back on here and let's give it a test see if it fixed the problem all right so uh, this is the next day I had some other things to do I couldn't test it out yesterday and I had I wanted to charge the batteries all the way full so let's give it a test I've replaced it the uh, throttle control sensor and go ahead and turn the key on put it in forward out here in the Texas backwards I'm gonna see if I have throttle control look at there just creeping along very slowly now let's speed her up a little bit a little bit not going too fast now let's let's hit it there we go look at the grasshopper I'm gonna go up this hill here got plenty of power Yeah, it works just fine. Let's try it in reverse. Reverse throttle control. Tr control. Yep. And let's speed it up. Yeah. There we go. No problem whatsoever. Well, looks like it fixed the problem. Uh, if you're having the same kind of uh, symptoms with your easy go cart, golf cart, or trail hog, whatever, it might be that throttle control sensor. Um, I'm going to throw a link to that product in the description of the video. Just click on the show more. You'll see it there if you're looking for that part right there. So you go right to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Found it helpful. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, please share my, my channel and my videos on social media. If you think they're helpful, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you'll find all that also in the description area underneath the, uh, the show more there. So until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out.